Everyone has heard of the free plus shipping strategy, but does it still work anymore? Today I'm going to be answering um, a very interesting question asked by someone um, and that was does free plus shipping work anymore? Everyone's heard of the free plus shipping strategy and you know all our Shopify gurus everyone is saying you know do free plus shipping you know it's a great strategy and you're going to generate sales from it because people think it's free and then uh, they'll enter it and they'll just put their credit card in right but it's really not that easy. Because free plus shipping is used by so many people, people are not falling for that anymore. They know that they're going to be hit with, you know, a $10 shipping price, right? It's like it used to work, but it's become much more difficult. And don't get me wrong, it can still work, but I'm telling you, it's much more difficult to get a lot of sales with free plus shipping now than it was before. Because now everyone and their mom is doing free plus shipping, right? Like it's such a popular strategy that it's very difficult to really sort of change, right? Like five months ago, you could use it, but you really have to find some new strategy that works for you. Uh, if you're looking where everyone else is looking, you're looking in the wrong direction. That's what Mark Cuban said, and I really agree with that because if you're following the free plus shipping strategy, if you're following the same things that everyone else is doing, that the Shopify gurus are doing, uh, you're gonna fail because you have to be doing something unique. You're supposed to be different. If you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing, uh, you won't be, you won't succeed. Right. I mean, you have to try to find something that uh, something unique, right? So the free plus shipping strategy can still work, but it's much more difficult to gain leverage. Uh, let me give you let me give you an example. The the watch scam, right? It's a very very infamous uh, infamous little thing people do on that they they put a watch and they say uh, you know free and then uh, they're hit with a ten dollar shipping price shipping price or nine ninety five or nine ninety nine shipping price, right? And now, you know, five years ago, maybe, uh, you know, it was very good. It was a very high converting ad. People were making a lot of money on it. But now everyone knows about that. I mean, there's no telling how much people are wasting just because they think that free plus shipping works, right? Like, uh, you know, when people see a watch ad that says free, now people have learned and they know that, you know, it's not free. There's a huge shipping charge, not a huge, but a $10 or five or seven or eight or nine shipping, you know, charge that comes with it. So you really have to, you really have to think and get in the mind of the customer. You can't just aimlessly put up ads and, you know, random prices and business models and strategies for your site. I encourage you to think about what you're doing and think about all the strategies that you're implementing with your store. So I hope that this video was helpful. Um, basically, in recap, the free plus shipping strategy still it can work, but it's much more difficult than it was before. And new strategies, you know, there's going to be a new strat, a new super popular Shopify store strategy that comes, I think, in the next few months, and then it'll it won't work anymore, and then it'll come, and then it won't work. So you really have to sort of adjust um, and adapt to how the landscape changes. All right, so thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you.